Paul from Embroidery Source and today I'm going to give you a very quick look at uh, Roland R Works which is the free software that uh, comes with your Roland BN20 cutter. It's uh, a very simple uh, kind of a basic program that allows you to import images and create cutting lines. <clears throat> so I'll show you how we go about this fairly quickly. The first thing we do is we go to the new project tab and by the way I might uh, just say that when I click some of the commands here the windows that open will will open outside the video viewing area so I'll, I'll drag them back in so you can see it. okay so a new project tab and um, oh, sorry the main tab and then we click new project and it opens up a new project tab and you can see the little floating toolbar here on the side this is where there are drawing tools and line editing tools and image import tools. Uh, we can also change the color and thickness of, of lines, uh, of filled areas, sorry. We can change the color of filled areas and we can change the color and thickness of lines with this setting down here. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, look at the file menu and select design area. Now this window will probably go off screen. It did, so I'm just going to drag it back in so you can see it properly. So this window allows us to set the area that we're working in. It's currently set to 95 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So let's say I want to change it to 100 by 100. And I click OK. And this area here now represents my work area. Now, you'll notice over on the right hand side, there's some uh, free uh, imagery that comes with our works. Um, vector items here and in this folder there are photographic images. Now take notice of the bottom right hand corner we have the object manager and in here we have a section for print and a section for cut. The parts of the image that you want to print will be um, in the print area and the lines that are going to be cut should be in the cut area. So if I open them out I can see at the moment that they're both empty. Layer 1 has nothing in it in the print area and layer 1 has nothing in it in the cut area. So what we're going to do is we're going to import an image. So I click the import image icon and here's an image that I have on, on uh, one of my uh, uh, desktop folders. So I'm going to open that image. So I select it and click open. It appears inside my working area. So I can now um, uh, scale it up and down in size by dragging the corners. Now you'll notice that uh, by clicking on the corner I can change it horizontally and vertically independently. However, if you want to constrain it or if you want to uh, shrink it proportionally, just hold the shift key down and then as you drag the corner in the width and height will change proportionally. So we drag it down to the size that we want. We can position it in the middle of our work area and now um, you will see that an image has been created and uh, I actually accidentally had layer one, the cut layer, uh, selected when I imported that image. So the image has been imported into the cutting section. I'm going to left click and drag it back into layer one of the print section. Okay, so now you can see print section, layer one, and here's my image right here. But the cut section still has no cutting lines. So now I'm going to add my cutting line. So I'll click on layer one, I'll go to the rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw, drag a rectangle around my image. There it is. And now you'll see down here in the object manager that I have a rectangle which is in layer one in the cut section. So now I have my image and I have my cutting line. So the next thing I want to do, uh, and by the way the cutting line, when you select the cutting line uh, which is here, you can change its color. So it's showing here the line color is green and you can take away the color altogether by clicking here or you can change the color by clicking on the pencil. If you wanted to fill the area with color you can do so by clicking on the fill color. Take away the fill color by clicking no fill or you can even put a gradient fill in there. So we don't want any fill because it's just a cutting line. So we've added our image, we've added our cutting line now the next thing we have to do is send the design to the BN20 printer cutter. So we click down here and this opens up this window and I'm just going to drag it back into view again in the video screen. So here's my, my, my image here. Cutting lines show up as a dotted orange line 
So I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see. See the dotted orange line? That means it's a cutting line. Okay, so I first of all click layout. I have layout and print settings. First I click layout. In here I can set the print and cut area of the vinyl in my BN20. Garment vinyl is typically supplied in 50, meter, 50 centimeter wide rolls and the cutting and printing, available cutting and printing area is usually about 470 mil. So I'll change that to 470 uh, and I'll leave that the length currently it's nearly 600 mils. So press tab, that changes the width here. Uh, the size, this means the size of my print and cut logo. Um, I, I sized it before I, I uh, brought it into this area, but if you wanted to make it a bit smaller or a bit larger, you can do so here by typing in less than 100% or more than 100%. Okay, um, now repetitions. If we want to print more than one logo, we simply click here in repetitions and as we click it will fill across the grid and it will keep moving them down to fit in the available cutting area. Now here we can even set the gap between each of the logos. So I'll put that to 10 millimeters for the moment and it automatically puts the gap to 10 millimeters. Okay, so we've done our layout settings and now we go to print settings. And in here we can choose the type of vinyl. So we have a generic vinyl, which is a, a printable signed vinyl. In this case, we normally would be using um, generic heat transfer. So we set it to heat transfer and then the print mode. Um, BN20s uh, for garment printing are always in, uh, installed and set up with cyan, magenta, yellow and blacking. So CMYK mode is correct. The other option is CMYK MT, which is metallic ink. Metallic ink is used only for printing clear sign or white sign vinyl, sorry. We don't use it for garments because it's not uh, uh, a textile friendly ink. So the last two options, return to the origin after printing. It will print the logos, cut them, and then the uh, vinyl will return to the origin point. And bi-directional printing. Bi-directional printing speeds the printing up. Um, so you can turn those on or leave them off. And the last thing, of course, is to output. Now, just one quick note before we output um, is that the cutting speed and the downforce applied to the knife, those settings are predetermined by, uh, the, by the setup of the BN20 utility. So when you install the BN20 software on your computer, a BN20 utility is installed, and that appears down in the bottom right-hand corner of your Windows desktop. So to set the cut speed and downforce of the knife, uh, you would go into the BN20 utility and set those there. So other than that, we simply click output and our design will then uh, be transferred to the BN utility uh, for printing and cutting. And that's it. Of course, there's a little bit more to our, our works. You know, you, there are different drawing tools that you can use. You can import images and create vectors around them automatically. Um, I think, uh, frankly, you can do a much, much better job with software like Corel Draw and Adobe Illustrator. Um, so bear in mind that Rworks is a very, very basic program for those who, who either don't have the confidence or, or don't want to get into um, a high-end software like Corel or Adobe. Okay, thanks for your time.